Hello everyone. Uh, so in this video, we are going to discuss about steeler plates. It is often asked in safety oral. So before that, uh, we'll explain you about a shell expansion plan. So shell expansion plan, sometimes this is also asked, what is a shell expansion plan? So you see here in these diagrams, those, these are nothing but shell expansion plan. Okay. It is a prefabricated ship ship plated at slip okay now uh, if when we it's a 3d rep representation sorry it's a 2d representation of a 3d form hull shape okay hull will be in 3d uh, 3d form so it's a 2d representation means on paper we are representing the ship okay in that is in two dimension so uh, the 3d representation of a hull form uh, 2d representation of a hull form in of a 3d hull form vessel that is known as shell expansion plan okay now when we talk about steeler plates now see here now the girth of the ship decreases towards the end and so the width of the place must be decreased in these parts so it is the width of the uh, what is happening the girth of the ship is decreasing so the width of the plate also need to be decreased to save making the plates too narrow at the end of the ship so to save making the plate too narrow at the end it is usual to run a number of plates of adjacent strake into one. This is done by means of a steeler plate. So number of plates are uh, made into one plate. Okay, I'll show you in the diagram. This can be seen in the upper shell expansion plan given here in which plate B4 is a steeler. Okay, now you see here. Now this here, this is plate B4. Now this B4 is a steeler plate. Why? Because it is getting narrower. The plate is getting narrower. After this, the plate width has decreased drastically. Okay. Uh, so the uh, means we can tell that the width of the vessel is also decreasing. So the girth of the ship is decreasing. So the plate dimensions, plate thickness, you can tell that also has to be decreased. So you see here, uh, B and C both have become one. So this plate B4 that is known as steeler plate. Okay. Now uh, the uh, you may you may have a question that which name it will take. So the lower plate name it takes. So it uh, so that is the reason you see here B3, B4, and then it becomes uh, B5 or B5, B4. Okay. So it doesn't take the upper plate name. So the same thing is written here. This can be seen in the upper shell expansion plan given here in which plate B4 is a steeler. Since it runs, runs the B and C strake into each other. So B and C strake is running into one strake. Okay, this is B, this is C strake. It is running into one strake. So that is the reason why, why B4 is known as a steeler plate. It is making two strake run into one strake, reducing the thickness altogether because the ship uh, girth is also decreasing now uh, note how the steeler and the plate beyond it always takes the name of lower of the strake which run together so always the name is taken for the lower strake okay so i hope it is clear for you thank you so much